Hello lovelies and welcome back to Intuitive Tarot with me, Sam. I hope we're all doing well. I'm sending you my love and my gratitude. Messages for my beautiful collective, please. Twin messages. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. You don't. This is like a divine feminine energy, um, and if you're not a female, you must, you might just be in your divine feminine energy. You don't have to be a female to be in your divine feminine energy. Um, oh, you you have options. Let's just say that you've got a lot of people who have got their eye on you. You've got a lot of people who are absolutely crazy about you. To be fair, I feel. There's two younger masculine energies who are able to see what you're up to. And I feel like they're taking like screenshots of videos or images that you put online. I feel like you're very interactive with like social media. Maybe you've got a TikTok or something. Um, and they love watching you. They absolutely... I just feel like they're, like, getting giddy watching your videos, watching or seeing these images of you. That's what I'm doing. Oof. Both. Okay. Well, there's three masculine energies now, and I feel like these are three separate people. They're wanting their empress. They've got their eye on this empress, but they haven't brought their feelings to light. This is moon energy. This is something you're in the dark with. But two of these masculines are very stable and they know that you ain't going to be single for long. So they're coming forward because they don't want to just be sat at home going, oh, please, I just need to be with a uh, divine. I'll do anything to be with it. No, 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 no. They're actually making movements. They're, they're doing things productively in the physical realm to be with you. One of these masculines is Sagittarius energy. Um, and I just feel like he, he's got it so bad, he, he can't hold back. He wants to do whatever he can to make you his girlfriend. He sees forever with you. He wants to completely and utterly commit to you. He doesn't want to just worship you from afar. He wants to literally get down on his knees and worship you in front of you. He will do whatever he can to make you happy. This is somebody that is willing to do what he can for this relationship. This is somebody that is loyal that is going above and beyond to show up for you. You are his dream come true. And he is like unbelievably attractive. This this Sagittarius is coming in who is very large and in charge. They work really, really hard for their money and they are really put together. I'm not saying that the the Knight of Pentacles isn't 
um, he is stable, but I feel like he's a little bit younger than this Knight, Knight of Wands that's coming in. The, the Knight of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, Taurus. Ooh. Capricorn and Taurus. I just got a definite on Capricorn then. And like Taurus, North, no. But I don't feel like they've got Virgo. It's like I wanted to say Virgo and they were like, nope. <laughs> he is put together, but he hasn't lived. Um, he hasn't been in a, a serious relationship. So he does come off a bit immature, this, this Knight of Pentacles. But this Knight of Wands, who is very largely in charge... I feel like he knows how to treat a woman. This masculine energy is coming in. Yeah, he, he knows what he's doing and he knows how to please you and he's wanting to do whatever he can to please you. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like when the Sagittarius energy comes in, you're going to be so, like, loved up with him that when this knight of pentacles comes in as handsome as amazing as he is you're so loved up with this this sagittarius man that even though you're just dating when this other person comes in nobody else matters you are locked in because you see how locked in he is with you so nobody else matters. This is your message, my loves. I hope it brought you clarity and understanding in your current situations. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, lovelies. Bye.